Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about descriptors in C++. So these are my information. You can use these information for your study purposes. Now coming on to the topic. Destructors are called automatically when an object goes out of scope. So whenever your program terminates or scope of a particular block uh, completes, destructor is automatically called. They are used to destroy the resources allocated to an object by constructor. Destructors have the same name as its class but prefixed by tilde sign. They must be defined in public part of the class. They don't have any return type, not even void. There can only be one destructor in a class because we cannot pass arguments to destructor. So destructor violates the rule of function overloading because function overloading says we can define more than one functions. So uh, we cannot define more than one destructor. So function overloading rule cannot be implemented in case of destructor. So after discussion, you can see this is the syntax of destructor. First, you have to use tilde sign, then name of class, then body of the destructor. And remember, you can't pass any arguments inside destructor. This is example of uh, destructor. Suppose name of uh, class is distance. So name of destructor will be dif uh, distance. Then tilde sign you have to use. Arguments you can't pass. And then a statement see out destructor for distance classes. Distance class called is uh, written here. So uh, whenever uh, uh, scope of a particular object will be terminating, this definition will be called uh, automatically and this message will be printed on console automatically. So uh, if we have implemented one object, uh, one message will be printed with the help of destructor. If we have n number of objects uh, in our program, then this message will be printed n times on console. So if you are implementing constructors, better to implement destructors also so that you can free the uh, uh, allocated resources so that that resource can be used by another programs. Thank you for watching this video.